What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are pushing in the east because we have a, uh, at least in this part of the world, we have quite a numerical advantage over the enemy. So we're going to try and swing in southeast and cut off the, uh, well, cut off the Prussians and also cut the uh, Ottoman, well, a part of the Ottoman Empire in half. But first of all, we must capture the territory of Lao. And you can see, it's probably not even pronouncing it right, but you can see it's a pretty basic um, army up front. We shouldn't have any trouble knocking it out. We don't have howitzers to clear them out, but to be honest, shouldn't really be as much of a problem. So let's attack the city. So this is, I believe, only one of two remaining Prussian cities, because we have quite conclusively um, smashed their strength in the west. I'm pretty sure the last territory is in Hungary, so that is going to be um, one of our key priorities because that would then remove all of the Prussian forces in um, in Russia or in formerly Poland. That would be quite useful, so I might actually get my guys over here. So we're going to have some breaches but we're also going to do a a more wide assault on the wall because we're going to want to try and capture as many locations as possible to prevent our troops from being um, bottlenecked considering we've got um, we don't have howitzers so we're going to want to maximize the number of areas where we can get into the city Okay, you guys go there because you're not hiding. General, stay by the breach. So, yeah, they're attacking every France. We're probably going to want to make two breaches potentially. We're going to maybe make one here, then one here. Just to try and get some of their troops off the walls and down protecting the breaches. That'll give us time to climb up some of the other sections of the wall and then take it. So we knock down this section first and then this section. And the units that end up attacking the wall, they're not going to do anything except just sit here to force them to keep units deployed to protect the breach so they don't um, pull units away and start to shore up their defences in other ways. So let's attack the next section, see if these guys accept their new order. No, they didn't. Now they have. So you can see how many men they actually take off the wall to help defend. Obviously this side's going to be a bit tricky, but potentially with our position on the wall we could even make another breach here. Which could be quite valuable. We might get a few... But well, because our guns are up on the hill, they might be able to fire over the wall and into the back of this one here, potentially causing lots of casualties. But we're going to, we're going to want to keep... Well, we need to, yeah, we need to spread out their forces. I want to try and keep these walls intact, because they'll be quite useful to capture. I mean, chances are, once they start to try and destroy this breach, we might end up... They might end up abandoning this section of the wall entirely, in which case I'll still try and capture it to get another entry point through the gates. It looks like this armed, citizens, armed citizenry unit is bugged, so it looks like they are going to lose some men when this section of the wall collapses. And that's helped fix the Western European mercenaries. So let's see if they will, the guns will attack the rear of that breach on the far side. The other way to do it might be to attack the unit on the wall. One gun team, no, doesn't fancy it. So let's just double check. Hey, they're going to do it, because they do arc their shells, their shots, so they can fire up and over. So let's carry on with that. 
then I potentially might make them try and attack the uh, cavalry unit here, because you might get some secondary hits against their mortar garrison. We might get a potentially large number of enemy casualties here when we knock out this section of the wall. Then again, it does depend on how many... We're not going to get any trapped, because obviously they've still got a, a, a point here. But the hope is that at least make gives us another breach here. And I want to advance a firing line up here to try and provoke them to come out while we try and scale at least, uh, at least this section of the wall. Maybe this section, depending on how we get. Depending on how well we do. We are still doing damage to the enemy garrison while we're doing this. But I'm not moving my troops up yet, because when I do, I want to move them all up at once to minimise the amount of damage that their mortars are going to do to my men. This one not far away, we're up to 47%. So it feels like there is a... It is less efficient, because I think more of the... They, like, they are damaging this section, there's probably some rounds that are landing short, like, it is, they are quite far in terms of range, like, the, end, the maximum firing range is, is just there, so it's not unreasonable that they're being a bit less efficient. They got some artillery shots off against my men, but they've since stopped that. To be honest, while that second section is actually being breached, we could probably push up. The important thing is that when we do it, we do it all at once. So there isn't any... To be honest, I might even get my skirmishes to run out onto the right flank. To try and... Because they should be a bit faster being light infantry. Yeah, and their mortars have started. Eighty-five percent, eighty-seven, ninety-four, ninety-six. One more. Ninety-nine. So we get a good amount of kills there. Yeah, like these four units are probably going to push to attack this section of the wall immediately. So if I take three units, put them here to cover the breach, get one unit up on the walls up here, get my heavy cavalry up here ready in case we need to charge the gate to stop them from interfering. Let's take these two units and push them up here. The guns on the wall attack... I mean, I'll see if they'll attack the mortars. They might have line of sight through the breach. I mean, you may as well try it. There's no harm in it. The worst thing that will happen is that they'll stand still. Just like that. To be honest, I might even push these guys around here as well. So it looks like we are going to need to make sure we... To be honest, I might actually just attack that section of the gate. Just to see if we can trap any more troops. Keep attacking that section of the wall. 124th are being slightly sacrificed. Whoa, no, you guys go that way. Line up our troops ready. It, yeah, see, I hate when they do this. They decide, oh, there's a there's a hole in the walls. So we don't have to focus on that. And you want to say no. 
Definitely don't worry about that. These units are going to be fire at will. Off. I would like this unit to get up on the wall so they can fire into the into the center. I mean, I might get them to run over to make sure they capture the gate. A couple of units are going to try and get inside. Come on, secure the gate. Gatehouse secured. Okay, and these guys are, have partially decided to run through the gate, so they're likely to get stuck up, get involved in some scraps. Okay, we have to throw in some of our units now. The unit that attacked the walls is routing. Let's get our infantry in there. We do have some Swiss pikes. You men attack down the wall, get the cavalry in here. Get the marines to make their way in here. Get the skirmishes to try and get up the wall. Get my hussars over here as well. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, you guys are supposed to go in through the front. So you guys attack the firelock armed citizenry that you know is coming. These guys get up on the wall and just start firing into the centre. You guys should win against the regiment of militia. You guys should win against the militia, but maybe not. Attack the pikemen in the rear. Just try and make them upset. Obviously you don't want to actually sustain to fight them. Good, we've got units up on the walls, so let's get my cavalry away. See, this is the that's the biggest danger right there. So let's take these units, pull them out of the gate. Because that is just asking for them to chop us into bits, so we don't want to keep fighting there. They may as well push on and attack another section of the line. You guys are giving away free hits. Just as it looks like they are going to keep getting engaged by the 134th. Good. The second regiment. And the 6th Regiment looked like they might be about to break ranks. Hundred thirty third looked like they're about to knock out both of these units, which is nice. Militia's wavering there. This unit's probably not going to survive that attack. There's those damn militiamen. Let's get this unit of marines up on the wall. Get this unit of sharpshooters up on the wall over here. We are going to have to grind them into the dirt. One unit at a time. 
Might even get another unit on the wall over here. Let the heavy cavalry absorb the the bulk of the losses. Run my cavalry over to the other front. Same with my infantry. They've actually managed to route my men up on the wall. So getting my cavalry in the centre to start clearing out their mortars. Get my marines to help try and clear their way down the steps. Swiss pikes are still underneath the underneath the um, uh, the gate. really knock out some of these units, get these cuirassier inside. We'll get these hussars inside, I should say. Get you men into the center, I suppose. Just start trying to capture. I want these guys... Okay, you men can start to engage the militia. I want these men to fire into the center. So my marines are just here to, to fix the enemy in position. So get my cavalry to attack these men in the centre as well. My infantry form a square. Hundred twenty sixth has been broken, so you men push up. So my marines have made it off the wall. These men can make it off the wall and attack the first regiment. My sharpshooters here aren't really getting what I want them to do. Get the infantry over here rapidly. You men keep engaging the militia, keep tying them up. Okay, you guys actually stay there. So, yeah, the Swiss pikes appear determined to fight there so I might charge this unit through the gate to make sure they stay fixed keep attacking the cavalry in the center if any of them push forward towards the towards the um, the standard we've got the 122nd here holding firm so the 120th have to fight the pikes just to make sure they don't decide to do something silly. These men are attacking the 6th. Fortunately, right, they're coming back. There we go. So we've won because we've taken the centre and we've pinned enough of their troops in combat near the walls. So let's end the battle there. So it just goes to show when you don't have howitzers, it, you really do have to kind of grind through the enemy. It's a much more laborious process, and you need to be careful how you'd approach it with a single army. It's probably why most of the time you end up finding armies that just... Okay, you guys can go attack Ernst zum Allenstein, just to knock out his artillery. And then get back to Warsaw. Because you guys need replenishment. Are you recruiting? Good, you are recruiting... So Curtis Patterson, this is our named army. They might advance towards Hungary. Mark Cochrane's taking over here at Breslau. We've got plenty of troops here near where this Ottoman army is attempting to um, siege us. So if we get one turn, that will be quite good. We've landed in Egypt. 
So let's upgrade the roads to speed up our advance. Let's upgrade our infrastructure here. We're, well, we're probably not going to advance from Athens. Well, well, we might do, but one thing I want to check is if we sail along here, how does Cairo look? Garrisoned, but no defences and no troops in the port. Let's have a look at Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem has no garrison in a port that's ready to be attacked. Damascus. Damascus is the same. Right, so. Idea. So this army here, under Hilario Huntsman. No, you're not getting into the... You're not getting into the Dragoon army. You guys should be okay. But I want this army... Okay, so I need... Ideally, to do this, I need three armies. So I've got one here. Jareth Hutchinson, who is going to resupply in Italy. And let's take Flynn Gardner, who's also going to resupply in Italy. We're recruiting sloops, when really it should be light galleys. Then... Just taking an agent out of out of um, Venice to join one of these armies. If, if so, what I can do, because these guys have no garrisons, I can invade and demand the surrender of these territories like that, and then one army can easily wipe out Cairo. Because again, they've got no defenses and the garrison's poor. So that looks like a really good option. I'm thinking we've done all the stuff we need to do in the east. I think well, most of it. There's probably going to be. Something, but let's make sure everyone that needs to replenish is replenishing. Come on, Cameron. Although it is kind of this army's job to keep providing infantry to the front line. But I think, well, yeah, they are going to be absorbed. Let's combine some of the smaller units together. Richie Compton needs to replenish. This army is replenishing. You can't get anything to help you out yet. I mean, you need artillery, chiefly. Oscar Harding is replenishing. Okay, so we've got the... Oh. We've got one pff, fairly irregular Turkish army here. So I'm just going to water resolve. Ooh, where have you come from? To the south. Fall back to Moscow. Let's allow it and see where they go. So they bring in this army to the south, or this army here. Well, this is very much a field army, but let's take you guys. Deploy them nearby. So should they attack Moscow, they'll have Ian Stevenson pushing in on the flank. Let's upgrade... Some of our industry. The army here at Konigsberg is replenishing, but soon, well, to be honest, maybe now, they can push out. Potentially surplus to requirements, because you've got. Well, you can never have too many armies pushing. We do need to keep an eye on Denmark. Let's repair the port. We're building a new port there. We've got two armies here and we've still got... The Indian invasion hasn't come off yet because I was an idiot and cancelled the recruitment of the new building to get the new infantry regiment. Yes, sir. So all this stuff definitely goes over to Jules. Jules Bertie. Uh, you've got plenty of cap, too much cavalry, if anything. So you need... I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be four units of infantry. Maybe let's take one unit of infantry mercenaries. And then get a King's Royal Regiment of New York. And then that'll be this army done. To be honest, I may as well. While that is coming through from Montreal... get to work on another. So let's get a QSA unit, 
let's get 12 pounders, 24 pounder howitzers, Native American mercenaries, let's get a unit of rangers, actually okay let's get two of those and then let's get two rangers. Good. I will try and factor these in, but once I've only once I've really got the, well, I may as well pick up these experienced units. Good. You're ready to attack the Pueblo nations, but the Pueblo nations are the ally with Russia, so we don't really want to move on them until we're ready to attack Russia. It's got another grand fleet under Casper, Casper Edwards heading up. The flag and heading up the uh, formation under HMS Britannia that's also named Hermes. So let's just get rid of Hermes because we know it's HMS Britannia first rate. Let's check out. So down here, yes, my lord. Aye, aye, sir. Make ready. we need trade ships down here, really. What we need is trade ships and another fleet to help back them up. Um, hmm. You might be good enough, actually. Let's pick up some third-rate ships of the line for the next time a fleet comes back. We've got some troops ready. Bit of garrison for Gibraltar, that's okay. Spain's got a bit of a garrison, but again, they are a bit... Well, they've got a university, so we need to keep an eye on them. So the Ivory Coast is pretty solidly ours, although... Norbert Vaughan's fleet could do with some mild replenishment. So let's send you to West Africa. Then when this our, when this fleet takes position, we can then withdraw the current fleet on station. Bloop. Straits of Madagascar are similar. They need they need protection. There's one Prussian fleet ship out there, but it's a privateer, so I don't really care. The East Indies is fairly well taken care of. You might take the fourth rate out to Jasper Hartley's force. It's Greece and Denmark. Yeah. But these two armies are also waiting for the invasion of India. Still recruit some reasonably interesting units. Though, well, this is top now. Where we are. Max level. Okay. So Graz is Austrian. It was an Austrian territory. He's going to destroy it. Andrew Hardy is advancing. I'll set them to, well, not advance onto Zagreb, but continue replenishing. Same with Hamish Boyle. I don't think there's anything critical to do. Well, let's destroy university here and upgrade happiness building you're replenishing everyone's replenishing everyone's on the move let's maybe push this priest out of here into minsk estonia is protestant so let's get you over to st petersburg start converting moscow's pretty protestant let's upgrade this Iron ore mine. Actually, no, it's quite on the it's on the frontier, really. Um, okay, let's hit end turn and see how the enemy reacts to our moves. So the one thing that could happen is we get attacked at Vienna, which if we do, our weakest units will deploy outside of the walls and immediately retreat because they're only about twenty odd men strong. They need to get out of there. If they wait a turn and they don't attack us immediately, then they are already doomed. Because we don't really... Well, we've got uh, plenty of troops nearby to help out. I mean, Prussia... Um, I'm not going to... With, I'm not going to... 
intercept them because both these armies are fairly weak. They still might attack us. Nope. The big thing I want is for the Ottomans to not defend or reinforce their Middle East positions. Because then we've got an excellent opportunity then to capture three major cities from the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, more troops pushing up towards Moscow. But they're all depleted. Well, they've suffered some sort of depletion. <laughs> they've cancelled me knocking down my own university. Yep, so I've reinforced the city. And that's caused them to decide not to attack me. We are going to have to um, send some armies in to clear out those troops. Well, the army that's actually there... Ooh, no, same reason. Don't want... Even though they're, they're depleted, I don't really want to. I'm happy to let them regroup to get another turn of regrouping myself. Especially when we know we've got... Oh, they, it's, it's so unfortunate, but we're coming after you. Sorry, Marathas. We're going to land an obscene amount of troops near Bengal. And all those Greek ships are going to die when we eventually turn on you near um, in Athens. So let's see. Protestant missionary in Lithuania. Another one. Very well. Go on to Moldavia. New building at Saratoga. Enemy raids we're not bothered about. Construction. Keep on upgrading. Upgrade is growth. Growth is taxes. Hanover rebels. That's a bit frustrating. If you don't have... Well, I could rob the um, some Petersburg garrison because they're troops that are nearby that I could qu quickly get over here to reinforce Hanover. Surprisingly, right? I didn't think they would rebel. Oh well. To be honest, you could probably still defend it with just that. But let's get Mark Cochrane sieging Breslau. Again, I'm not bothered about attacking it with Mark Cochrane because he's got mostly fusiliers. Well, a significant portion of our army are... Well, three units. Well, I could probably still assault it. But I may as well just let them carry on doing what they're doing, because I'm not overly concerned. Yeah, but you men. Curtis, you're pushing on to Hungary. The Ottomans have lifted the siege, and now our army is at full strength. So that's going to be bad for the Ottomans. And both of these armies are both these armies are replenished so let's go and get the agent embarked so this sloop bruiser you sail on to Cairo yes, Captain. you put Cairo under siege Run the agent towards Jerusalem. We're not going to really need it Taking cover. to do spying exactly. And then you chaps embark. Sail on to Jerusalem. Demand the surrender of the city. Let's repair everything. The troops are okay. Upgrade the craft workshop. Knock down the steam dry dock. Upgrade the roads. Then you done here, Hilario Huntsman. Eh, let's send a stack of fourth rates. We can then send them to do blockading work afterwards. Yeah. 
you chaps land at Damascus and demand the surrender of Damascus. They have no troops to protect the city. They only have the troops that the city generates itself and that's not enough. That's really not enough to uh, to prevent them from just handing the city over. We might even be able to immediately... Oh, minus five. Not quite immediately. Yeah, let's get... Okay, I'll keep this naval hospital. But chiefly, I don't really want to have a lot of uh, assets tied up in naval and military dockyards. To be honest, I, gotta want, I have to wonder if we could even do that to the Ottomans elsewhere. Istanbul is unprotected. Well, there we go. So I've successfully cut their empire in half, so they can't get anyone over to, over to support these men in the east. Um, let's get an upgrade here. Let's repair this steam dry dock as it's now mine. Let's send two fourth rates to raid Thessaloniki. Let's send a fourth rate to raid Izmir. To pro so now they have no productive shipbuilding on the Mediterranean. Anything they need to make has to be made out of Batumi and Sinop, which are both steam dry docks, so they could build up a fleet to knock away this one, but I think that's quite a significant development. Let's upgrade this one town to a church school. Some of our fleets have arrived. So you take station here. Norbert Vaughan. Get back to England. And then this fleet here. Can probably absorb your fourth rate fleet. The Jasper Hartley return to England for new orders. Yeah, return, for, return to England for new orders. We can get rid of those. Recruitment. To be honest, there's recruitment everywhere. I can't go watching everything. Hanover's rebelled, understandably. Elias Oldfield continue to push from the east. Let's repair that steam engine factory. Upgrade you. Bridge you to a steam dry dock. So you're on your way to take it, take Hungary. I mean, we will take Hungary. Then it might even be this Breslau siege that has to be resolved first. But we've got absolutely oodles of battles to do. We can push on and hit Mr. Hocker here. We've got troops coming in from the east. From the west, sorry. Venice is still really upset. So let's exempt them from tax, lest they rebel. Oh, the Pleasure Gardens is still damaged. That's probably something to do with it. So let's do some upgrades here. But let's start over in the E. Actually, first of all, before I do anything, because I will forget. Is let's put a light galley. Then take these troops over to Kronstadt. Sail them over to Cuxhaven. And you can bolster the garrison of Hanover, who are going to pick up some garrison guards to support themselves. Get you men into the capital. Take these men and chase down the enemy rebels. Because we don't. Well, actually, I'm probably going to auto that to fight a proper battle. Um, because we do have some actual proper battles that need fighting. So. Ian Stevenson. Okay, so you've got pretty much everything. Hey, it's okay, so you men go in there. Kelvin Carmichael. Hold ground. I'm going to send Ian Stevenson to go and attack... Dimitri um, Hilmi 
And then I'm probably going to bring Alvin Veer West to hit Dana Halil Effendi. It might mean leaving Moscow a bit exposed. Although I could probably do with taking a gun team and running them away. Get some infantry inside to make it not so artillery focused. In theory, I should go for this guy first, I think. Because this army is further away and does less damage. In which case, they'll take Mr. Veer, slam into Dana Halil Effendi, and knock him out and push him westward. And his army is incredibly depleted. So let's attack and destroy an Ottoman army. Yeah, the Ot it's interesting to know the Ottomans do have mo seem to have most of their strength. Um, inside Europe itself, and not anywhere near as much in uh, the Middle East. So we'll end this episode attacking Cairo, because I really want to tie that up. <laughs> you could really do with some updated guns. So because the army is incredibly depleted, we are going to storm them with our incredibly re um, experienced army, actually. The guns, not so much. There we go. Missiles plus our general on either flank. Aha, so they are going to defend the town, eh? I hear an enemy charge. Ah, oh, the quick climb's all going to focus on the artillery. See so you men all dump into squares. They're likely just going to start skirmishing us. Yeah, they're only light cavalry. Who gives a turkey about light cavalry charging an infantry square? just means they'll die faster. No, don't break the square. Stay in square. I mean, these marines will open fire onto the infantry. General's bodyguard's been... Well, the general's been knocked out. There we go, all their units are broken. In one fell swoop, I can see the camels electing to advance now. So on a... Oh. Nope, Hussars, get back. My guns just focus on their... on their, uh, their quicklime. You men form up and open up on those gunners, those camel gunners. Our infantry keep pushing the flanks, although it's interesting to note they are actually uh, deploying to defend against us. Let's do some attack grounding. These are Bashi Bazooks and the Janissaries. They're advancing over the dead ground. It's nice of them to be charging towards my marines, though. Because they love a scrap. My marines... Well, once we've knocked back this Bashi Bazooks, good stuff. These men secure this line. These men can push up and take some buildings. So you men take the town hall. The marines push around the flank. Their howitzers are engaging my guys. To be honest, I might just get these guys working on round shot. Attack their gunners with round shot. So the Feline musketeers have been forced to abandon their position. No, General. Don't go that way. 
Moreover, you're probably going to chase down the enemy reinforcements, or the enemy routing troops. Actually, the Bashis would be ideal, because there's so few of them. They've actually been eliminated. The rest of my line are going to open fire on... Oh, all the artillery's just going to sl slamming home against the... Uh, against the uh, artillery there. So we've secured the, south, the, t the town, but we don't really need it. These men are all going to push up, so my cavalry can attack the... The routing troops. And my hussars to knock out the gunners. Are you guys going to get... Yeah. Hit by charging infantry. So knock out the foot artillery, please. Artillery just cease fire. Okay, oh, they're all routing now. Ceasefire there. Halt fire with my infantry. Oh, there's going to be hidden troops somewhere. Yeah, there they are. Oh no, a Janus unit came back. So get my hussars to chase down there. Take down the Nizam infantry. You guys attack the gunner. And yes, we're going to continue. Keep attacking because they are enemy troops. Enemy troops on the battlefield that will remain. So we want to make sure we take out as many of these chaps as possible. An experienced unit of Nizam knocked out. You men go after the Israeli. These guys should knock out a handful more desert warriors, although there is a possibility that they screw it up. It's a gunner destroyed. They're gonna rout. You may as well help out this unit of Hussars. Try and obliterate this Israeli unit. And that Hussar unit, the second light horse, are going after that last, the last man standing in the desert militia. Okay, so what's happened is these guys aren't going to kill that man with melee combat. So just shoot him. And let's attack ground with my artillery. There we go. We got him. Good stuff. So that's one um, Ottoman army annihilated. Hopefully they're... No, oh, they're not dead dead, but they've been significantly damaged. You are going to... Reinforce and then push west. Let's replenish some of this stuff. Replenish this guy. So who's coming up the road at us? I mean, it probably is advantageous to take you and hit Isa Heredin. Yes, considering they are also depleted. So let's also attack. And well, let's attack another Ottoman army. Um, they're going to be incredibly sore after we've taken those cities in the Middle East, so it's something we kind of do need to make sure we, uh, we annihilate as many of their troops as possible so they can send fewer reinforcements back to protect their homeland, because that does mean that their position in the Middle East is, <laughs> is in pretty poor shape. So, ooh, this is a lovely position for our artillery. They're going to love that. How to get up and ready again because this is a depleted army. 
we're just going to form our line in advance. Get ready to use our cavalry, including our general, in a pursuit role. I'm going to keep my sharpshooters back because I don't really seem to use them very well in these situations. So let's just make them advance forward in general for now. Keep our cavalry on the flank, securing important terrain. Sipahi are a bit dangerous. Switch our howitzers to quick climb. So I'm going to charge, try to charge them with my heavy cavalry. So I get the charge bonus and they don't. And then I think once we're in the combat, we should have a very strong position. They've given up the right. change our quick climb. Let's get my general in there to try tip the balance. This is risky because they are a good cavalry unit. Might even get a foot guard unit over there considering we don't need them to secure the hill. Okay, the Sipahi are actually doing a real number on my heavy cavalry. So let's get my general out. Bashi Bazooks, general's bodyguard. Okay. Let's get my Hussars over here to, ch to face down the, the um, general's bodyguard. I mean, to be honest, just, grin just um, engineers might not be enough. So they're going to run up here, form square. So I can then try and uh, kill them that way. Yeah, they got my. They beat my heavy cavalry in a fair fight, which is which is interesting. Hussars, get after the general's bodyguard. Let's get my heavy cavalry ready to intercept these bashi bazooks. So you men push up and secure the high ground. So I think my engineers will fire it will on. Nope, square again. Ah. Run my general out of the way, or at least at an angle. Sharpshooters open fire. Ceasefire with the sharpshooters. So where my hussars go? God, the general's bodyguard went on a real loopy route. Switched to round shot when we're attacking some of these units in the centre now. Switch our round shot to attack that unit of Nizam. Well, no, not, not the light infantry. Get my general over here as well, because it looks like we've successfully cleared out some of these enemy troops. Go after the Janissaries. Push up and secure the high ground. The general's chasing us. That's fine. Knock out these bashi bazooks. The 
General's bodyguard, chase down that unit of infantry, let's cease fire all our artillery. And it's a general's bodyguard that's come in, which isn't... It's not terrible. It's just not the, uh, the best answer for us. So let's get them to attack the general's bodyguard to make sure they do... Hopefully we can kill the general. Although if they do start their running away shenanigans, get back to attacking the Janissaries. push up and, and uh, engage the Nizam light. Just charge them, I suppose. Nimrod's bodyguard is making his way down here, but I'm going to just play this on higher speed. I doubt we're going to kill the general. I doubt he's back here. So let's keep attacking the Keep attacking the enemy wherever we find them. They are likely going to successfully rout in a number of areas. The General's bodyguard looked like going to knock out this unit of Nizam, which is great. Push on attack this last unit of light infantry, which we might actually be able to kill. Well, not if I miss like that. No, nope, they successfully routed, and the only unit left is this unit of Janissary Grenadiers all the way over here, who got the stuff in knocked out of them. Damn right, decisive victory, that's a nice word. There we go, sent them back to their lines. You men take position again in the fort. So there is still a, a army out here, which I could potentially attack. If I were to recruit a sort of a garrison to protect the city itself, then I could bring this army back out. Um, but looking at the time, we're close to the end of the episode, so I've done the new town. Okay, let's take Jareth Hutchinson and attack Cairo. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Egypt. Cheers, everyone.